This is Kevin Mayo, your American spot correspondent for Real Ale Craft Beer, and today we're drinking Sierra Nevada Harvest Single Hop IPA. This is hopped with Equinox hops. It says it's supposed to be drank fresh, and where are we here? Our third Harvest Series Single Hop features a newly named Equinox hops intense verbal, herbal, fruity, and cedar-like aroma. So we'll go ahead and give it a crack and give it a shot in a second. We all know Sierra Nevada, they've been around for, I don't know, 25 years now? But they're really, really one of the key players in the American craft beer movement. Between them and Sam Adams, they really invented American craft beer like we know it now. And their pale ale, which is their signature beer, is still a great beer. So, let's give it a pour. Don't know anything about Equinox hops. I don't even know if I've had a beer with them before. Pours reasonably clear, actually super clear. Not a lot of combination. We got two fingers ahead. It is kind of a looser bubble on the head. It's not really tight. And I would say just slightly off white. And it's kind of a dark yellow. Let's do the aroma. Got a little bit, you know, cedar's a good, good description. You know, usually I say pine, but really does a little bit like a, if you had a cedar lined closet. Just maybe a hint of the malt. Oh, there was just a burst of like tangerine. And again, that resin, pine, cedar. But again, none of this is overwhelming. Sometimes you pour one of these IPAs and the aromas are wafting up. It's not that, it's more subdued than that. But then again, it's a single hop beer, so you can't do everything in a single hop. This is whole cone dry hopped, so let's give it a taste. Very, very interesting. A little different than most of the IPAs I've been drinking. There is some sweetness up front, like a hint of brown sugar. Don't know if they use any dextrose to, to uh, sweeten this up or not. There's a really nice mouthfeel. It's crisp. It's clean, it's refreshing, does dry a little bit at the back end, but really, really nice, almost Pilsner-like, and then it's just really refreshing. This has been warming for a while, so it's not overly warm at this point, or not overly cold, let me clarify that. Sweetness, a hint of pine hint of pine and then just a touch of citrus maybe orange not really that typical grapefruit and that's got a nice bitter aftertaste well made beer well crafted beer very drinkable, um, not over the top flavor wise, well crafted, similar to some other IPAs um, I've had recently. Um, I'm thinking really of like Broadbrook Hop Stillo, which I like a lot, where it gives you flavor, but not bombard you with flavors. I would give this a solid uh, 86 out of 100. Till next time, keep drinking.